November 9th, Sacred Service. I now rejoice in my sufferings for you, and fill up in my flesh what is lacking in the afflictions of Christ. Colossians 1 verse 24. The Christian worker has to be a sacred go-between. He must be so closely identified with his Lord and the reality of his redemption that Christ can continually bring his creating life through him. I am not referring to the strength of one individual's personality being superimposed on another, but the real presence of Christ coming through every aspect of the worker's life. When we preach the historical facts of the life and death of our Lord as they are conveyed in the New Testament, our words are made sacred. God uses these words on the basis of his redemption to create something in those who listen which otherwise could never have been created. If we simply preach the effects of redemption in the human life instead of the revealed divine truth regarding Jesus himself, the result is not new birth in those who listen. The result is a refined religious lifestyle, and the Spirit of God cannot witness to it because such preaching is in a realm other than His. We must make sure that we are living in such harmony with God that as we proclaim His truth, He can create in others those things which He alone can do. When we say, what a wonderful personality, what a fascinating person, and what wonderful insight, then what opportunity does the gospel of God have through all of that? It cannot get through because the attraction is to the messenger and not the message. If a person attracts through his personality, that becomes his appeal. If, however, he is identified with the Lord himself, then the appeal becomes what Jesus Christ can do. The danger is to glory in men, yet Jesus says we are to lift up only him. See John 12 verse 32.